Well, thank you, Aisha, and thank you for moderating today's session. And I also want to acknowledge those incredible words of President Zelensky. I think we can all agree that in facing down this enemy with such courage, President Zelensky does so much more than defend his own homeland. He's defending the very basic tenets of a functional international order. And that's why we must not look away. We must do everything within our power to stand up for the humanitarian issue that is the internally displaced people within Ukraine and those refugees who fleed Ukraine. A few weekends ago, I was on the border town of Medica and I saw a young woman with her children crossing the border and she struggled to carry the bassinet that was in her arms. And this and today's summit and today's gathering is all about making sure that that woman, when she gets on that bus, has a safe place to go with a place to sleep that night where she feels safe, where she has health care, food security, and the hope that her child, when they grow up, will have a great education. That's what today is all about. And so I want to start by thanking President von der Leyen. I want to thank Prime Minister Trudeau for co-convening their leadership has been absolutely extraordinary, and I commend you from the bottom of my heart. I also want to thank you, President Duda, our sincere gratitude for hosting us today, and to the generosity of the Polish people, because you've shown such generosity and solidarity with the people of Ukraine. Excellencies, members of the press, and also those who are gathered with us today, I really want to thank everyone for their support of Global Citizens Stand Up for Ukraine campaign. As the world's largest movement of citizens taking action for the eradication of extreme poverty, we have been working on this since the beginning. Firstly, to mobilize government and the private sector to increase their financial support for the refugees and internally displaced people. But secondly, we partnered with President Zelensky on a daily call to action that has now been viewed by over a billion people around the world just in the last few weeks. Yesterday, thanks to the incredible support of artists, athletes, creators, and all of those around the world, the Stand Up for Ukraine social rally called on world leaders today to pledge the billions of dollars necessary to support refugees and internally displaced people. The videos were shared by incredible people such as Oprah, Elton John, Billie Eilish, Annie Lennox, U2, Celine Dion, Pearl Jam, Bon Jovi, Bruce Springsteen, Hugh Jackman, Priyanka Chopra Jonas, Madonna, and so many more. And in total, yesterday, there were over three billion impressions of this campaign. But it's important to realize that this is just the beginning. Our work is just getting started, and we have to view this as a marathon, not as a sprint. So today, we look forward to seeing the amazing responses from world leaders and from the business community. And I want to share with you now a brief overview video of yesterday's campaign. Thank you. 